Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to make popular taco shop sides. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you how to set up your taco bar. In this bowl I have a thinly sliced large purple onion and I like the pickled onions with purple because it just makes it look extra pretty but you can make it with any kind of onions that you have whether it's yellow or white. You wanna add about one third of a cup of lime juice. Add your salt, vinegar, and combine all your ingredients. For those of you that love spice, you can slice your jalapeno, your serrano, even your habanero. This will keep in your refrigerator for about seven to 10 days. Make sure that you're using a clean utensil every time you're taking them out. And friends, if you're gonna use all of these for a party for that same day, you don't have to use the vinegar. The vinegar is just to preserve and also it gives it a, a brighter color after a day. But these are ready to eat now. The longer they set here, the better. I think, what, 24 hours Cloud is usually? That's the magic spot. So let's set this to the side. For your red radishes, you wanna slice them thinly or you can place them on a mandolin. Be very careful. And if you don't have a mandolin, you're gonna say, Steph, how, how am I gonna get this so thin? Let me show you. I like this little rat tail. <laughs> I know I'm not the only Mexican girl that has a crush on a, on a rat tail. <laughs> or has had a crush on a rat tail, okay? In the past. In the past. Now you just like tails. <laughs> <laughs> so you can slice them as thin as you like. And what I like to do to preserve the freshness, I like to place the radishes in a ice cold little bucket like this. <laughs> I'm already having fun. I think of a bucket, you know, a few chelas in there. <laughs> Friends, if you like that mandolin, I purchased it on Amazon and Cloud will link it in the description area. I absolutely love it. It's super easy and I know you saw me using my hands, but it does have this little adapter for those of you that have to, you know. Use the adapter, you guys. Use the adapter. You guys know I'm brave and I'm wild, but go ahead and place your, um, your radishes in a little bit of cold water. You can set it to the side in the refrigerator and then I'll show you how I plate them. Next, we're gonna slice our cucumbers. Cut the ends, rub it, rub it and we were raised to believe that that's gonna prevent the bitterness in your cucumber, but we also know if it was uh, cultivated in a dry area with not enough water, you get the bitter ones. But you're just safe rubbing the ends. It's right? just, I honestly, at this point, these Texan style cucumbers here are so juicy. I don't know where they're from, but I'm very grateful for whoever picked this for me because the juicier, well, they're the better. Texas. They're Texan <laughs> cucumbers. <laughs> They're thick and juicy. Yeah. So you can slice your cucumbers just like this. A nice little, a nice little make it comfortable for your home. But when you're busy and you got things to do, this little mandolin is amazing. I really love how easy the gadget is. You can gauge the thickness of what you want. Oh, okay. And I mean, you can julienne real easy with it as well. You see that? Yeah, but I love this tool for salads, like salad prep. Mm-hmm. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. I like how I started off with circles and then now these last ones are at an angle. So if you guys get the angle one, that means you guys got fancy. You Those guys got fast. the fancy part. <laughs> Please use the tool at this point. It would make me feel at ease. I'm gonna eat this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And for the cucumbers, I like to splash a little bit of lemon juice. You can use lemon or lime juice, just a few drops, just to keep the freshness, because you don't want your cucumbers to get all soft and sad, you know? You, you want them to be crunchy. nice and crunchy, so keep them in an ice cold water and place them in your refrigerator until you're ready to party. <laughs> Sounds like I'm ready to party today. I'm ready too. <laughs> for your pico de gallo, you wanna add your tomatoes, and I really like using the ripe vine tomatoes that Cloud has me going wild over. They're so delicious. You wanna add some jalapeno, finely chopped white onion. And if you don't have white onion, of course you can use yellow onion. 
cilantro and salt. And to keep it fresh, we're gonna add half a key lime, just a little sprinkle. You don't wanna go too heavy on your pico de gallo with your lime. That's just to preserve everything and keep it nice and fresh. Make sure to look in the description because exact measurements can be found along with other tips and wonderful suggestions. And boom, done. Now for our taco shop guacamole, a lot of you wonder, why doesn't my guacamole at home taste like the one at the taco shop? I'm gonna tell you guys right now. It's because you're not using the skins from your zucchini. Interesting, right? It is. Another reason why it doesn't taste the same for you is because you're using lemon or lime. And let me tell you, your tomatillo has a citrus taste to it that balances out the flavor in the avocado to where you don't even need any salt. To your blender, you wanna add some water. If you don't add the water, all of this is not gonna blend properly. Your zucchini skins. One tomatillo, and I know tomatillo, sometimes you have a large, sometimes you have a small. It really doesn't matter. Um, you should be okay with whatever you have on hand. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It's perfect. And what happens to the zucchini meat? The zucchini meat is gonna be used when I sneak it into some pancakes or if I make uh, calabacitas with cheese. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, I do know about those zucchini pancakes on fire. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and add your avocado to your blender. Woohoo! We all love this green gold. The green and gold? Yeah, green <laughs> gold. <laughs> we do have a family member that's allergic to avocado and tomatillo. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> More for us, just More <laughs> for us. <laughs> ah, who wanted that? We need it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna blend until smooth. I'm gonna start slowly and then I'm gonna pick up the speed. And with this Vitamix, I should only be here about 20 to 30 seconds. And boom, done, amigos. We are ready to party. I noticed you didn't add salt to your guacamole. You can, but since I have a lot of other salty things here, I just like to keep this one nice and fresh and just perfect. This is great for dipping uh, cucumbers or your favorite veggies. And you asked me what I was gonna do with that zucchini. Let me give you all a quick little tip that my son and I absolutely love. For those of you that don't like veggies, look away, because this is gonna get intense and you have to love green veggies for this. You're gonna get your zucchini, you're gonna dip it, and you're gonna eat that and it's so, so good. You guys ask me how my skin stays so smooth and so hydrated. This is another reason. Now open up, Cloud. She's happy it's not carrots, everybody. Mm. Ooh, what a great idea. It works, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. In this pot, we have boiled water. You wanna add your tomatillo, your tomatoes, Two handfuls of chile de arbol. Now, if you can't handle this kind of heat, but you just wanna partake in this festivity, go ahead and just pick a few like this, look. Just like that. Just enough to give you some spice, but this salsa, if I don't bring the heat, I think my family's gonna kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll understand. <laughs> Garlic. So go ahead and place the lid over your pot and continue to boil until everything's nice and soft and that should be anywhere between eight to 10 minutes. After eight to 10 minutes, you have nice soft chilies, tomatoes, and we're just gonna take all of them out and place them in our blender. And we are gonna be using a little bit of the water that we have in here. So I'm gonna end up adding about half a cup I think that'll do the work or else you're not gonna be able to blend. 
We're gonna blend uh, until smooth. If you like it a little bit chunkier, you can, but this one, uh, you want it a lot smoother. And if you want it to go a long way, you can even add a whole cup or even a cup and a half of your liquid if you have a lot of family and you guys love this salsa. I'm gonna start blending at a low speed and then I'm gonna slowly pick it up until I max it about 30 to 45 seconds or until I see the smoothness that I want. Now, for those of you that have family members um, that really love this salsa, you can even get away with using two cups of the liquid so that you can make this last a little bit longer for everybody. And you can add your salt at any time. I forgot to add it when we were blending it, so now I'm just gonna blend it just a bit to mix my salt in there. But before or after, friends, you can't fail this recipe. And boom, done, amigos. We are ready to serve. I'm gonna finish setting up our taco party. That tray is so you. It's, it, uh, it really is, just like a DJ. If you like pickles, you're gonna love these onions. Yeah, so go ahead and add your cucumbers. Right in the center, I have some seasoned ground beef, and this little container in the center holds one pound, which is great for me. So you can assemble. And it keeps it warm, right? It keeps it warm. Let me show you guys a little cord here. It's a tiny little crock pot, and it keeps everything nice and warm for you. Date night, here we come. Yes, boom, done type thing. You can prep all of these ingredients the day before, even your ground beef and the next day, you're ready to celebrate. I know a lot of graduates are out there. Congratulations to all of you. I'm proud of your hard work, parents, adults, teachers, everybody involved. And this little part, you can mix it with a little bit of cheese or your lettuce. And this is what we have a nice little Taco DJ station. booth. <laughs> it's a DJ booth. <laughs> If you want to learn to make perfect fried taco shells at home, make sure to look in the description area. I'm going to be linking our uh, taco shell video. We did it at the DIY Taco Bell. <laughs> Felt a lot of fun. And the lettuce, I think, is the only thing we didn't chop up and discuss. But what I do with the lettuce is I just sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice. And that keeps it nice and crispy and fresh. All right, amigos, say ah. Mm -mm -mm. It's already starting to sprinkle on my plate. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!